Hey guys, so if you're like me and you don't have plans for Halloween, a lovely way to fill that empty void is to watch some movies. And this vlog is going to tell you a list of movies that you should watch. The first film is Psycho. It's probably one of my favorite Alfred Hitchcock films. I love Hitchcock and it was done in 1960 and it follows this woman um, running away after she steals money from a bank. And she stops and stays one night at the Bates Motel and she meets the manager Norman and she kind of learns about him and his relationship with his mother and the film kind of goes on from there. It's very suspenseful, it's a thriller and what's great about it is that all the violence happens off screen so Hitchcock kind of lets your mind fill in the blanks. Like I said this is one of my favorite films and if you watch any of the films on this list I really you should watch this one and check out Alfred Hitchcock because I He's just an amazing director and I just love his film. And as a lovely tidbit of knowledge, um, this, I'm pretty sure this film was the first film ever that uh, when a person came to the movies they had to watch it right from the beginning because back then people could just walk in the movie theater anytime and just watch the movie wherever it's at. So it could be at the middle, it could be at the end, wherever. And they would kind of watch it like that and the movie, the film would just play in a loop and in between each in the between the film um, they would play news clips because that's people would go to the movie theaters to watch films and to get their news so uh, but this film um, Alfred Hitchcock was like no people can't do that they have to come in from the beginning because it wouldn't make sense so and that's kind of how it it slowly started to change that people started watching movies from the beginning and would have to come in at the beginning. Now shifting slightly the next film is Hocus Pocus by Kenny Ortega and it was done in 1993 and now you're probably familiar with this film so you probably know why it's just so awesome. Um, I just grew up I like watched it when I was a little kid and just watching now kind of reminds me of when I was little and how I just enjoyed the film and it's just a good wholesome Halloween film. So if you're not familiar with the plot, it's about three witches being resurrected from the dead on Halloween night and it's up to three kids and an immortal cat to save the day. And uh, if you're wondering, don't worry, it ends up fine. Not really a spoiler. Since I've mentioned Hocus Pocus, I kind of have to name another one of my childhood favorites which was Double Double Toil and Trouble with Mary Kate and Ashley Ol Olsen. I loved their movies when I was a kid and the last kids movie I'm going to mention is It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Who doesn't love Charlie Brown themed seasonal specials? I'm moving towards something children should not watch, Shaun of the Dead. It's written and starred by Simon Pegg and it's just hilarious. If you don't like gory films, I would suggest you look away because I don't like gory films but just don't look. Believe me, it's so funny. So it's about this man trying to win back his girlfriend while trying to kill zombies at the same time and survive. And this film is just, it's just funny and it's good. I don't like horror films, but I have wanted to see this movie for the longest time. And I did one Easter day. I know it's weird, why would they show it on Easter? But they did, and I watched it, and it's The Silence of the Lambs. I wanted to see this movie for the longest time. And when I did, I loved it, but the end totally freaked me out. I was fine during the whole movie until the end, and Buffalo Bill's house just freaked me out. But besides that, this film is so good. It's more than just a horror film. I don't think it's, it's not even classified as horror. I think it'd be more like thriller and suspense. Now the film follows Clarice, uh, an FBI cadet. Um, and she's put on this case to find Buffalo Bill and in order who's a serial killer that skins his uh, victims alive lovely and in order to find him she uh, interviews and develops this relationship with Hannibal Lecter a serial killer that's in jail and locked up and trying to like pick his brain and see what his Buffalo Bill's next move would be and how she could find him so uh, and the film is kinda them developing their their relationship and it's just a really good film. It's scary and especially at the ending I got really creeped out but uh, it's a good solid film. So if you like, if you can handle scary films then watch it. If you can't but you're intrigued I would say watch it with people and uh, especially if they've watched it before because if there's really creepy parts then they can tell you when to look away. Yes, but uh, otherwise, this film is really good. And lastly, a film to lighten up your mood, Arsenic and Old Lace. It was done in 1994 by Frank Capra. It starts off with this man, and he's a writer. He goes home to tell his two lovely, sweet old aunts. And he finds 
a dead body there in their house and other events unfold and it's just so funny. I hope that your Halloween is as exciting as mine, watching movies, eating candy, and doing homework. And by the way, if you're wondering who this is, this is Mr. Pumpkinhead and uh, yes, as a child I was very creative naming things. And as a side note, I have 50 subscribers now and I just want to say thank you guys so much. It, it just, it means a lot to me and I know tons of YouTubers always say that but it does mean a lot to me and I love your guys comments and I kind of gotten to know some of you and that's just awesome and thank you so much. It, I, there's 50 of you. That's crazy. 50 of you could not fit into this room. I don't know. I'm going to make a proper video of doing something, celebrating. So if you have any ideas, uh, let me know below what you'd like me to do to celebrate. It will happen sometime. It might not happen in the next video because I want it to be really well done and thought through. But thank you so much. Oh my goodness. It was just, when I found out, I was like freaking out and I texted my friends and it was so cool. This is so not going to work.